Casi. <laughs> okay. Am I ready? Okay. Um, I'm going to be teaching you today about prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases are um, a combination of the preposition and its object. Anything, let's say the dog is sitting near the tree. The prepositional, the prepositional phrase is near the tree. And I learned many years ago that whatever a rabbit can do to the stump, this is our situation here, the rabbit is jumping the blank, the stump. What can the rabbit do to the stump? Can it go, uh, the rabbit is jumping near the stump? Okay, we could use near. Or anything that it can do, it tells you a top, uh, near, above, and before. Those are some examples. So think of some things that a rabbit can do to the stump as far as its position and its place. That's how you will identify your preposition. Uh, Annabelle, can you tell me uh, what the rabbit can do at a prepositional phrase here? The rabbit is going blank to the stump. What? Over. Over. The rabbit is jumping over the stump. Okay. And what else can we do to the stump? Beside. Beside. That's right. Jumping beside the stump. The rabbit is jumping beside the stump. Can it go under the stump? No. Well, I mean, well te technically it could, but okay. Um, around. Around the stump. <laughs> On the stump. On the stump? It can go on the stump. And it's possible if there was a hole in the ground, it could go in. Under or in the stump. Or above the stump. It can jump in it, on it, over it, above it, around it, beside it. But when you're looking for your prepositional phrase in the sentences, or your preposition that starts the phrase, look for words that define the location. Over, beside, around, on, above, in, below, near, and that's where it'll start it. Uh, I'm going to give you your uh, printout today, the readings uh, from uh, by Francis Hodgkin Burnett. And the story is called The Secret Garden. In the secret garden, you'll uh, find your story. I would like for you to circle all of the prepositions in every sentence and then underline the preposition, uh, the preposition, the object of the preposition. That's your entire preposition. We'll start with the actual preposition and then the stump is the object of the preposition. And uh, notice that we got our vocabulary here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read this to y'all while while y'all are looking through that. In the secret garden, Mary Lennox, a young orphan, is living with her uncle in his England country house. Mary had been living in India, where she never got fresh air or exercise. At the first of each day, which passed for Mary Lennox, was exactly like all others. For every morning she woke in her tapestry room and found nothing kneeling, and found Martha kneeling upon the hearth, building her fire. Do y'all see the sentence, uh, see any prepositionals, prepositional phrases in the very first sentence? There were quite a few. In? Yeah. In what? Her tapestry room? In her tapestry room, at the first of each day, and upon the hearth? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. After each breakfast, she gazed out of the window across the huge moor, which seemed to spread out on all sides and climb upon the sky. 
And after she had started, stayed there for a while, she realized that if she did not go out, she would have to stay in and do nothing. And so she went out. How many prepositions do you find in that sentence? In prepositional phrases. Out. Mm -hmm. Upon. Yes, ma'am. But what's the entire phrase? She went out where? Well, no, out is not. So when she went out, that's not the prepositional phrase. Or is it? No. And she did not know that this was the best thing she could have done. And she did not know that when she began to walk quickly or even run down the paths and down the avenue. She was stirring her low blood pressure and making herself stronger by fighting with the wind. Do y'all see that part? With the wind. Is that a prepositional phrase? Yeah. With the wind, which swept down from the moor. She ran only to make herself warm, and she hated the wind, which rushed at her face. There's a preposition, and the object of the preposition is? Is it face? Okay. And roared and held her back as if it were some giant she could not see. But the big breaths of rough, fresh air blown over and filled, and her and the healthier, and the and the heather filled her lungs with something which was good for her whole thin body, and it whipped some red color into her cheeks. You see, into her cheeks, okay, and brightened her dull eyes when she did not know anything about it. Now off to the side of this uh, page, I've got some vocabulary. Y'all see the vocabulary words? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I want you to circle the correct meaning of uh, tapestry. Do y'all know what tapestry means? No. Okay. What do you think the best definition for tapestry? Because in the story, she had a tapestry room. Was that an attic corner, a gloomy dark corner, perhaps? The tapestry mean merry and bright, or was it decorated with cloth hanging on the wall? Do you think that maybe the word tapestry means decorated with cloth hanging on the wall? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what is a hearth? Do y'all know what a hearth is? Okay. A hearth has something to do with the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, it's actually the front part of a fireplace. Okay. And now we had a little situation where she was running through the moor. What is a moor? Do y'all know? Okay. Moor would be the high open land and heather meant the bush with purple flowers. That's a type of a flower. And so when we read our stories, do y'all remember why did Mary go outside? Here, this might help you out a little bit. Yes, that's correct. And so why did Mary run? Mm -hmm. Why was she running in this story? Okay. <laughs> she had nothing else to do. Um, so why was she going out? Why was going outside good for Mary? It made her stronger and healthier. Yes, it did. And it helped us to be able to identify and learn where all the prepositional phrases were in this sentence. Or in this story.
So anything that Mary could go and do outside would be a good substitute. Mary went where? Outside. She went running outside or went running through the fields outside. She went uh, beside the stumps, around the stumps. Mary could do anything that the rabbit could do. All right, thank you.